this Infinity shoe, um, it's been incredible the last year and a half, two years, the design process that's gone into this thing. And that's what Nike does best. I think they listen to the athletes, they listen um, to, to us and, and really take the feedback. And then from there you take one little suggestion and then they're off and running and it becomes a complete new thing. And I think that's where you see, you know, hey, I want, for example, this golf shoe. Um, the Infinity, it was, hey, I wanted something to look like a running shoe. Everything that went into this shoe was all about the player and the people buying this shoe. We wanted it, we wanted it to be comfortable for you. First off, it's waterproof. You're able to be out in the rain and, and not have the, the socks get wet. But but also there's so many different things. The stability, where, where the stability is placed in this shoe. They were able to get flying it into a golf shoe and but yet make it stable. You want the golf shoe to be stable. Um, it's the only thing that you have connected to the ground. So and that's where you get your power. Uh, you, your feet are, they can move all over the place, especially if there's no stability from the ground up. Um, you're never gonna hit the ball far, you're never gonna do anything. That's why the infinity is so in, important in a golfer's game. When you look at the bottom of these shoes now, you're walking on air pads, those hex pads. Um, there's three of them which you can even see in the shoe. And then these new spikes. Believe it or not, there's more traction with less less spikes. Um, and that's what, that's what se separates this golf shoe from anything that anybody's ever seen.